Hey everybody, here's a way to uh, do a painting machine that's uh, writing an action script in Photoshop in order to create a really cool uh, abstract painting from a regular photograph. And uh, we're going to be using and appropriating an image from the web. So I'm going to type in something random like a tree frog. They're pretty cute. I'm here in Google and go into Google Images and and I want an image that's about a thousand pixels big. Um, so one way to ensure that you get a big enough picture is to click Tools here and then Size Large over here on the left. And every picture now will have at least a thousand pixels in it. All right. Um, when you click on one of the thumbnails, then it puts a larger version on the right side here. Um, that one's not quite sharp, so let me try this one. That's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to right click on the picture and left click copy image. And then come over to Photoshop and say File New. and just hit the create button because it's uh, the pictures in the clipboard and so it'll build a new file exactly to the pixels of what you need. So you hit create and then control V or edit paste. How long can you freeze pizza dough? Thank you. Edit paste. There we go. Now we want to set up a crop tool to crop exactly square and that's the key to this project to have a perfect square. So on the left here, the fifth tool down on the left, you click the crop tool. And then in the options for the crop tool, up here at the top under the menu item image, you click that down and click one to one square. And then you can click on the picture and move it around if you want, but this is pretty good here. So I'm gonna leave it. And then hit the check mark up at the top in the options bar. And now we're ready to record an action and do a series of steps, um, like 10 steps or 15 or steps, that then will take a second image and just hit play and it'll radically transform it. So uh, to, to get your actions, go up to the top window and then click on actions right here, very top. And what you want to do is click on the new action button right next to the trash can. It looks like a piece of paper turned up. And we could name it um, PM1 if you want, it doesn't matter. And you can assign a function key to it. I'm going to put an F12 here. And then I actually have to hold down shift because I've got another F12 somewhere. I've got a zillion actions in here. Um, so that's clicked on too. So now when I hit record, everything I do, you have to be careful not to do random things because it's recording it. So I'm going to hit record and then follow me closely. So I'm going to filter this first by going filter at the top, filter gallery. And that'll launch the filter gallery. And I'm going up to, yeah, I like that, ink outlines. I'm going to, it's the second group down under brush strokes here. And I'm putting my stroke length all the way up. And I like the dark and light distribution. So I'm going to say OK to that. All right, so I'm, I'm still recording. Now I'm going to distort this. So I'm going to go filter, distort, and I'm going to use shear. And the way this works is when you drag this around, it'll bend the picture like that. Okay. And I can add points in here by left-clicking here and left-clicking here. So I have four points all together. 
and I'm going to pull the middle point to the left and the point below that all the way to the right and radically jam this around like this. Okay. Say okay to that. And now we're going to, I'm going to show you the layers. So I'm going window, the layers. Oh, and they're, they're out over here. Let's bring them in. What I'm going to do is copy this layer. So Control J, Control J. And then we're going to rotate it and blend it. So I'm going to say um, Control T. And then that's for free transform. Control and the letter T for transform. Right click. And I'm going to rotate it 180. And then I'm going to hit the check button at the top. And now over on the right here on, on the layers palette, just um, where it says normal, click down. And I'm going to try lighten here. And I like that. So then I'm going to merge these two down together. So that is control E. And that merge them together. And then I'm going to rinse and repeat. I'm going to control J. Control T. And I'm going to right click on the layer. Oh no, right click here out in the picture and rotate it 90 this time. Then I'm going to click on the checkbox to set it. Click normal. And I'm going to look at lighten again. It's kind of cool. And I'm going to flatten this all down. So right click on the layer and then left click flatten image. And I'm going to stop the recording at this point. So right next to this red button on the left is the stop button. So we ended up doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps here. If you want to adjust the light at this point, you could use levels. And the control L is the, the way you do that. And I could like bring in my black slider to give it a little richer color, take my midtones over a little bit, and adjust the light just where you want it, and then hit OK. And make sure you save this as a JPEG file, save as, and upload it to your Google Drive. So I'm going to call it PM1 for Painting Machine 1, and JPEG, and hit save. And 12 is good to save it at. All right, now, just for the fun of it, I'm going to uh, hit Shift F12 and play this again, see if that works. And I just painting machined over the painting machine, and it, it actually looks pretty good as a variation. So I'm going to save that file. File save as. And call it PM2. You can see where I'm going with this. Um, 12. And I'm going to play it again. I can also just put the, click on the action and hit the play button here. And see what happens. And bam. Again, I'm going to, oh, let me hit control I here and reverse it just for a new color and control L and I'm going to lighten it up a little bit here. So I'm taking the highlight side and moving it in and maybe the midtones a little bit and OK to that and then save that. File save as PM3. All right, enough of that. I'm going to find a new picture now. So, um, 
I could choose a different frog. I could choose... Uh, I'm going to do something crazy here. Oh, that's got some text in it I don't like. There we go. I'm going to change the color on this. So I'm going to copy image. Back to Photoshop. File new. Create. Control V. The crop tool is still set up, so I can click inside here, and move this to get these eye googly eyes that are pretty cool. I'm going to hit the check mark. Options out of the way. And I was going to change the color, so I'm going to hit Control U or Image Adjustment Hue Saturation and dial the hue around to someplace else. Yeah, that's good. Reds. And now I'm just going to hit play and see what it does. Great. I'll save as. You see how you can get a, a dozen of these in no time? Because we've got the action script written and we're just applying it now. And try a completely different picture. So I'm going to type no fire up here. And we have Sacramento. Vito, can you make the a fires going on in California and houses are burning down. And people are getting evacuated. So I'll take that one. Back to Photoshop. File new. Control N. Or file new. Create. Control V. And the crop is just fine here. I click on it once and then I click the check mark. And then I'm going to play it. And see what happens. Mark, when I do the dough, it seems it grows too much. Any advice? Yes. Uh, use cold File, water. save as. And uh, put a little bit more salt. Maybe you don't put too PM much salt. You use the warm water instead of the, using the cold water. Where do you buy your pizza peel and bricks? Okay. So pizza peel. So is, uh, you can uh, see um, any series of um, actions that you want to do with filters, and there's 130 filters in the filter gallery. Um, can change everything dramatically. Also, you could take one of your painting machine images and maybe go up to artistic, and I'm going to click cut out and see if that's something you want to play with. Um, there are also uh, distort filters, sketching filters down here. So graphic pen does that. Um, Stamp or bitmap it. That's a little bit gross. Water paper, not so great. You know, not all the filters look great. Glowing edges, that's crazy. And texture. So you can play with it, and it's all up to you. Here's Sumi, that's not so great. Ink outlines is still a favorite of mine. And dark strokes. Anyhow. Okay. So save these into your folder and I'll see you on, on the blog. Take care. Vito, how do I reheat the Neapolitan pizza the next day? Microwave?